Hello everyone and welcome to the first place deck profile of the OTS Championship in West Jordan, Utah. So I play Danger Luna Lights. So uh, let's get right into it. So we played three copies of Luna Light Kaleido Trick. So this is kind of like a foolish burial, more of like an Armageddon Knight for the deck. Now you send a Luna Light from your deck to the grave, it gets that name for the fusion material. And if it's banished, you, your opponent can activate card effects during the battle phase this turn. Uh, it's really good. It sends its cost so people can't ash it or failure it like everyone wants to do. And yeah. Uh, we play Martin, which is a card that you usually send off of Kaleido Chick, uh, but um, it's like a thing that's for us to the deck. You target a Luna Knight on the field, uh, especially from Grave, and add a Luna Knight from your, or from your field to your hand. And also has an effect where uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, uh, you can add a Luna Knight Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, Luna Knight Tiger, this is like a monster reborn for the deck. It's, when it's in scale, you uh, reborn a Luna Knight from your graveyard. It's a soft once per turn. Uh, and uh, people always make the mistake of Tone Twistering this, but uh, that's just wrong because you can still special summon it from the graveyard with its monster effect. So, uh, One Wolf, this is the last pendulum, and uh, this is just a miracle fusion for the deck. Nothing else to say there. Uh, sheep, so this searches for the wolf, because usually you send the wolf off of Kaleido to the graveyard, and Sheep is searchable by Tanky, which wolf is not, so that's uh, how you get your wolf. The last little that we play is Emerald Bird. So uh, this is like a Chocolate Magician girl, you uh, discard a Luna Light and draw a card. And uh, when it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon a Luna Light from your graveyard or your banished zone. Uh, we played the Danger Engine, so we played 3 Nessie, 3 Jericholope, 3 Moth, and 1 Bigfoot. Bigfoot's the worst, uh, you, um, but you have to have a beast that you summon off of. Uh, Jackalope. So with Jackalope, you usually summon this or this, uh, depending on if you want to go for rank fours or if you want to go for uh, your some of your link plays. You want to go for Bigfoot. Uh, extra extenders. We played one Singulaneous. This is specials itself if you have an Xyz monster, and this is just Zephyros. You know, return a card special from graveyard. Uh, three draw. This is a blind second deck, so we want to stop everything. Uh, this is no. No uh, complaints here, this is amazing. Two Panker Tops, this stops the rank up magic. You just priority and then you summon this and then you can pop their monster if they try and rank up. Uh, you can also swing over, you know, as a thought or like, you know, the Time Thief guy. Really good, I wouldn't change that. Uh, one Gamma Seal, this is a theory card. You play this against Sky Striker, you usually just tribute over their Sky Striker cards and then uh, all of their back rows dead so you can just OTK them through the Gamma Seal. Uh, never came up, and uh, I honestly might just switch this out for a third Panger Tops. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, could come up, but we'll have to see that for sure. Uh, for spells, uh, Perfume. This is another monster born for the deck, and you can banish from Graveyard and discard a card, and then you can search for a Luna Light card, or a Luna Light monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, it's amazing. The, probably one of the best cards in the deck. Um, three copies of Foolish Burial Goods. This just sends your Perfume to the Graveyard. Um... Yeah, it also sends a Serenade Dance, which we'll get to in a second. Three copies of Tanky, searches for all your Luna Lights, uh, except for Wolf. Uh, really good. Uh, one copy of Foolish Burial, this can send your Mer uh, Emerald Bird or your Martin, which searches for your Trap, or you can Special Summon. It's just an extra extender, usually, so it's really good. And then one copy of Serenade Dance, uh, so you can banish this card from your graveyard, and you can discard a card and Special Summon a Luna Light from your deck. Uh, the on-field effect is... I have no idea what it does. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to extra deck. Uh, we played one Leo, one Panther. That's it. That's all I needed. Uh, Le Panther's just, or Leo's just amazing. So, uh, you have to have access to it. For Lynx, we played Durmadal and Underclock Taker. So, this was the one that I go into the most, and Underclock Taker is just a closeout games because these two between them are exactly 8,000. Uh, just closes games perfectly. Link 3s, we played Curious, uh, this is a last minute pick, but uh, this was perfect because you could send your Zephyros from your deck to your graveyard, or you can send your Perfume so you can search out like Tiger or something, you can use this, you can make this like with your dangers and everything, so it just made the deck so much more consistent, and I thought it was a very good choice. Uh, summon Sorceress, just get an extra Luna Light from your deck, usually your Kaleido. Uh, Rusty, so I don't have PKs in the main deck, but they're in the side deck, so we can get to that in a second. And uh, for Link Force, we play Borosaur Dragon. So sometimes you don't have access to your Leo Dancer, so this comes up. And uh, it was actually very important. It actually closed the game out for me like once or twice. Uh, really good choice. 
And the last link where we played is uh, Star Yuja Skull Dread, so this is just the normal draw four. Usually you don't use the draw four effect, or even the special summon effect, but um, usually we want it here because that's a dragon, which actually comes up. Um, moving on to XC's monsters, the Rain Force. We played Tornado Dragon, uh, Dweller, Nightmare, Tiger King, and Force Strix. So these were all actually amazing. Uh, sometimes you would just make any of these three going first, and then your opponent really has a hard time getting through this, especially these two. Uh, sometimes they can have a hard time getting through this if you're playing against like Striker or uh, Salomon Greats or, you know, any of those decks. Sometimes. And the last uh, card we played was Kali Yuga. Um, so I can't play this in the normal, um, like, extra deck, but uh, I side stuff to get into it. So uh, speaking of which... For a side deck, we played one Raging Dragon, a Garpain, and Imduck. So Imduck's a dragon, and you can summon this off of a normal monster. Uh, so you might be thinking, I don't have any normal monsters in my deck. Uh, I actually do have one, which is the uh, PK Trap. So you can summon this and then make Imduck. And so you use Imduck and then Saryuja to make uh, this, and then you can make the Odd Eyes Raging Dragon. So uh, Imduck was amazing, and uh, I'm really glad that I figured that out. Uh, moving on to PK cards, so we played uh, Cloak, we played Boots, uh, Brigadine, and uh, um, the Rank Up Magic. So uh, nothing that would change here, honestly. Uh, Boots was just an extra extender if you send the Ancient Cloak, and I thought that was amazing. Uh, the next card that we played was 3 Kyoto Waterfront. This just searches out Gamma Seal, so uh, the theory behind this is that if you Saryuja uh, especially your Gamma Seal from your hand, then uh, they have a really hard time getting over um, the Gamma Seal plus Kali Yuga. Um, they can't out it with stuff like Twin Twisters targeting the Rank Up Magic, or they can't out it with even um, even a Kaiju because Gamma Seal is a Kaiju, and they can't out it with uh, Pinker Tops. I think the only out that you can really uh, use is like Denko Seka, but uh, I don't think a lot of people main deck that. Uh, last that we play is uh, Twin Twisters and Red Reboots. This is just against any back row deck, and um, honestly, I wouldn't change it at all. Uh, that's about it for the deck profile. So um, I might do a combo video, but uh, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, and uh, shoutouts to Emily, who is the camera girl.